hijacking. So just a little quick time audio for me. Well, fine. So sorry about that. What do you mean you're not hijacking? Well, I'm sitting low in a so- chair right now. He's oh. sober. I am sober. I didn't. I didn't really drink last night. I was really, yeah. I drank a really lot. <laughs> a lot. I drank a lot. We I have drank, a woman president. Really, I drank a lot the first two nights. So I was like, all right, I'll just gamble last night. Having oh my god, dude! I'm up like I'm up like fourteen fifty. Like just for yeah. that. Just fourteen dollars and fifty cents. Oh. Four wow. one four five zero. Dude, zero, zero. I'm telling you, roulette is where, which where Ario or where Cosmos got the best roulette tables. Um, we were at Encore and win. Wow, oh, those then, I hate then, those. And then Cosmos, so so I was up like eleven. Um, and then when I was coming back, my editor was like, "Hey, I'm at Cosmo playing roulette," and uh, and he went on a crazy run, crazy run. So you're right, like those tables were good because then I I bet more and. And did and did well, but he went on a crazy run. Yeah, like every time encore. he was about to, he was about to walk away and not walk. He just wanted to walk away because he was tired. Yep, um, Th- that's happened to me. But then, but then he would hit. He would hit a number, yep. and so then it's like, all right, he's got to keep going. The, the first time I played roulette, I was with Gina Paradiso. She taught me how to play, and like she left probably around like two, like or mm. one. Like she had to meet up with some people, and I was like, oh god, I'll just stay here. And then, like, she came back at, like, five. I was still there. And I was literally like, Gina, I, like, I have to quit because, I, I, but I keep winning. But it's like, it's five in the morning. I have to go to bed. It was like, a, it was too much money. It was yeah. just too much success. I felt like Trump. It's like, I'm getting tired of winning. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are just kind of full out of context. Yeah. yeah. I felt like Trump. <laughs> I felt like Trump. There you go. That's, that's for the new intro, 2025. Um, <laughs> Guys, I got to tell you, I think this is going to be our greatest episode ever. Really? Dude, really? really. <laughs> I, like, as I'm going through the list, they're, it's all coming back to me. And I'm like, there's there's no way I can filter this down. There's mm-hmm. no way I can filter this. I've selected seven. I believe that That's my seven are going to be completely <laughs> choking at seven. Um, <laughs> I believe that mine are going to be completely different from yours. It's going to be different from Maze's. And sure. on top on top of that, I also believe we all could con- concoct a new separate seven that is not replicated throughout all the three of our lists all over again. It is yeah. an amazing... Um, I, we got to do another one of these. I, like a Sean Ashton yeah, thing. Part part two. Two. I, think, yeah. I think that's definitely doable. I agree. Yeah. I, I sat down in the airport and I put my list together and I want to say... 25 minutes like it was it didn't take me very long yeah and then i stopped i stopped my oolis this isn't one where i've got 100 oolis same i cut it off fairly early and i said okay i got my list this is gonna work i have like i have like 20 total of everything right including my list because as i got through certain ones i said i'm not gonna find a better one than that so i actually like your idea of we should do a part two because I, I like thought of some as I'm going through our catalog and thought, <laughs> you know, oh, it's another time. Do Zach is we should do a CT five of the top oh, five things that didn't make this CT five. That's list. a great idea. That's a great idea. Top yeah. five Sean Astons that didn't make the top five Sean Astons. That's, that's what you say. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe top seven Perhaps. Sean Astons didn't make the top seven. Oh yeah, Sean because Astons. we had two outside yeah. looking ins. That's yes. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These, the, but this one, the next Sean Aston won't be inside looking out. Oh, um, that's right. So, oh, I, so I'm I'm also on a run with Uber drivers, real quick. Before I know we gotta get to the intro and everything that Amin doesn't like to do anymore. Um, so last night, as I'm going from uh, my hotel to the Encore, this nice lady, she's probably in her sixties. Name is Rosa. Uh, she, you know, we start talking, whatever, and she's from Guadalajara. And Wait, uh, where? <laughs> uh, when she said that, she's like, she's like, where are you from? I was you like, Los giggled. Angeles. You giggled like a prick. <laughs> she was like, the country I she's did, from. I did. No, she said Guadalajara. She said Guadalajara. And I started like, I had to like, thank God it's so dark in those Ubers. I had to like really stifle a laugh. I was, I was oh my God. 
Um, and then, and so like we talked for a little bit, I'm trying to explain what summer league is to her. And then she, like, I, we pull up and she's like, you know, I give you five stars. I'll like, give you five stars too. I like great trip. Thank you. And then as I got out of the car, she said, bye sexy. I'm like, okay, that's nice. Now, could you describe the Uber driver? I mean this respectfully. She kind of looked like Guy Fieri. Oh. Okay. I mean, they you... have very similar hair. That's why she looked like Guy Fieri. She's like, Whoa, You're a Guy I, Fieri I, I, fan? I, Gal, I Fieri? Was like... Gal Fieri? Gal was... <laughs> Fieri. Hold on. Let's update the CT5 names list. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, but that's not all. That's not all. When I left the, you know, left the encore that night, last night, as mm. I come back, um, this guy is like trying to, he, he tried to like, he's like, cause there was a bunch of us outside, but I just got in the car and, and he's like, oh, you guys trying to go to strip club? I was like, no, 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 no. He's like, what are you guys doing? I'm like, oh, well they're, you know, they're a bachelor party or whatever. I'm here for work, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, you know, he's trying to explain to me the system. They have systems with systems, these yeah. Uber drivers and these cabs where the strip clubs pay these guys that, you know, bring patrons to the, to the strip clubs. Yeah. And so he's, he's explained that like they have an app for it and like, you know, who's paying what and all this stuff, like which clubs oh. are paying what, like it was actually kind of fascinating. And then at one point he goes, you know, I'm not a strip club guy, uh, because I'm gay. I'm like, okay, like whatever. So we well, like, talk, <laughs> the, they have gay strip clubs too, bro. And then, and then, so we get, he, we finally pull up to the Vidara and he's like, He's like, all right. Um, well, don't. He's like, <laughs> and there's the last thing. Uh, we pull up to the Vidara, and he's like, he's like, so you guys going to the strip club? I said no. Like I like, it's not really a strip club group. And he goes, well, take my number anyway. Because he thinks you're gay. He's, maybe I don't know, but I'm yeah. I'm on a heater with with Uber. I'm just hot right now. I'm hot in Vegas. All right. Everything's working. Okay. That's he didn't all. say, hey, sexy or anything, though? He didn't say buy sexy, no, but it was implied okay. when he wanted to exchange numbers. Did you, give them, did, you, did you exchange numbers? Yeah, I'm going to see him tonight. This idea is just straight up bad. That algorithm is busted. It's among the worst ideas I've ever heard. Top five, easy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Welcome to Cinefolk Top 5, a.k.a. CT5. This is the companion podcast to the <laughs> Smash Success Top 10 in the Nation podcast, Cinefolk. We, we, <laughs> we go through all of the canon of Cinefolk and we rank top five things in different categories, like best vehicles, and uh, best names, and best weapons. This week, we've got... CT5 Sean Astin Award winners. Now, this is a fairly recent. I think this happened when we did our CT5 of awards, right? Yes. That's when well, Sean Astin, it, yeah, that's when it came it up. Started, right? It started in Encino, man. I'm pretty sure Zach called it out. Uh, no, Amin Encino, called it man. out. I called it out. I yeah, called Amin, it out. Amin, like, Amin no was way. incredulous about the idea that this guy would dig his own pool. Right. So, so the, Encino the Sean Man Astin, was episode 175. Okay. So it's, okay. a, it's a nice little f- but it, 50, as a, as, 60 years of cinephobe. Sure, but a, as an award that we actually gave out to other movies, I, I don't think it took off immediately. Or maybe it did. Uh, we'll find out. But but if you're wondering what Sean Astin digging a pool means, because this would not have been in the glossary since it is a recent development. In the movie Encino Man, Sean Astin is a high school student, and one of his like home improvement projects is is Dig, literally digging a pool in his parents' backyard. It's not, and it's I not a that, home improvement project. It's, what is he's it? trying to desperately become cool, and he thinks, well, if I have a pool that now I can throw a pool party at the end of prom, now right. people will like me and this girl will want to fuck me. And, of course, exactly. this is patently ridiculous, not because a pool won't make you cool or throwing a pool party is going to get you pussy or whatever, not because of any of those things. It's patently 
ridiculous because no parent would allow their child mm -hmm. to ruin. By the way, digging a pool is something that you do with like caterpillar equipment. Like you don't do that with a shovel. I could do it. <laughs> you got to. And then Zach like, has hey. offered to match any price on a pool being dug. If you need a pool, yeah, go to Zach. I offered uh, Ian Carmel. He was like, you know, it's like a hundred grand. To, we looked into getting a pool. It's like a hundred grand. I said, I'll do it for forty. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me put it this way. Zach saying that that is Sean Aston digging a pool, right? No, you need to. You need to like. You need to make sure that like the soil is damp. You know, it's too hard to to dig dry soil. Patently ridiculous. So we started no, giving that's out true. this award. That's true. You cannot. No, it's so much easier. We started giving well, so out this award. So Zach made it his number four unofficial award in the CT5 unofficial awards, which mm. was in August of 2023. I the award? Yes, you gave out the award. Oh, so Amin okay. objected Amin came up to with it the in idea. the episode. Yeah. yeah. And then you made it the official, unofficial award, official, unofficial. And this was in August, so almost a year ago, in between the toy part one and two. That's when wow. the top five unofficial awards came out. Wow. It was our 11th CT5. And then I would say after that, it started well, coming up a lot. Well, I, I lot. think I think a I created lot. it. <laughs> I think I <laughs> just got camel in my head now. I think I created it because I think Amin was bringing it up in episodes since then since between that and Encino man. And then that's why I think that's why I made the award. Like not every episode, but I mean, would like that's ridiculous. That's Sean Aston digging a pool. You know me, I'm an honest podcast. I don't want to take credit for things that aren't me, but, but I, now I we're almost at the point where I feel like it gets mentioned every episode. Yes. Now, now it is on a run like me with, with Uber drivers. Yeah, the so, point where uh, it's diminished the value of the, the Sean Aston. Now it's like, has is, there, it? is everything is everything most unbelievable? There's has everything it? digging a pool. Has has it? It? Diminished? If has, anything, has, we has should it? we should do an episode where we go back through every movie. Well, that's what I'm doing. That's what I did. I, I went back at, like way before we were awarding this, and I'm thinking, like I said, it's like Celine Dion, it's all coming back to me now. I'm like, oh mm -hmm. right, that was kind of ridiculous, right? So by the way, Mace, I disagree. I don't think it's diminished it. I think it has strengthened it. I think it is cemented it and i think I that agree. everyone is going to really enjoy these lists like i, I said i don't think we have any crossover let's get started are we doing maze then me then zach is that the order Yeah, i'll go first this time wow Flip right. it up. Yeah. This off. well that's actually perfect for this my oli is someone's job because mm. i don't believe that this person could do this job Oh. And that is Hayden Christensen being a civil engineering specialist and helicopter pilot in Takers. I'm not uh, buying yeah. it. That's O L I. Yeah. Jesus. That's not number one on your list. That's just no. first O L. Holy no. shit. Jesus Christ. Man. Holy this shit. Strap up, everybody. This is going to be a hell of an episode. You can yeah. maybe get me to believe one of the two. It's the combin. It's the combination that puts it over the top how uh -oh. did he have time he's only 28 years old how did he have time to go to grad school well, for civil and, engineering and then also and, do all of his helicopter uh, training hours it's a lot of hours and, like you and, and adopt a life of crime yes mm -hmm. and run a bar they're always that's in that a bar. lot and buy and a play hat. piano <laughs> and then he does play the piano what <laughs> You know what, Mace? I never would have thought about it. Yes, but now yes. I'm just saying it like, yeah, it, yeah. it's kind of patently ridiculous. That How one is he person... not the leader of the crew? Idris Elba doesn't do anything. He just shoots the moon. <laughs> <laughs> well, he takes things. Gents. Well, yeah, the takers. Yeah. yeah. All of them are. All right. They do for a living. <laughs> that movie's so fucking stupid. File. I can't believe you phoned it. I can't believe you phoned it, Zach. <laughs> that movie is so bad. It's, it's no, a great, man. What it's are you a great talking about? Movie. Dude, God. they rob a I, bank and then go <laughs> hang out at their bar afterwards. What's wrong with that? And then T.I. shows up to the secret hideout. Not so secret. No. I mean, the whole, the whole movie is a goddamn pool, okay? <laughs> oh, shit. All right. My first outside looking in. 
comes from the early years of Cinephobe. But I remember at the time being incredulous about this chain of events. It's Barry Pepper and his band of bingos <laughs> learning how to fly planes a week after learning how to read. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I mean, the, the learning machine. No, like true. it was a week a week ago, they didn't know how to read. They couldn't and talk. Now they're, and now, now they're flying fucking F eighteen fighter jets. <laughs> couldn't read. I mean, they're strategically. By the way, not just like we got it off yeah. the ground and then we're flying around. Like these guys are in oh, wing formation General and shit. Patton, Top Gun shit. <laughs> Look, this I mean, is the human it's not that race. They couldn't, they couldn't read. They they communicated with grunts. <laughs> they grunted. Yeah, this is gonna be a good list, man. Once again, now that is the, that is the choking the at seven. <laughs> they flew the planes and they defeated an intergalactic race of conquering aliens with these Rich. planes. That the full strength of our, our military at the time when they invaded couldn't do anything about. Yeah, no, that, that, there you go. That, that that's an excellent point, an excellent mm -hmm. wrinkle to this is that mm -hmm. even regular, fully formed, intelligent human beings yes. with that technology could mm -hmm. not defeat. Didn't do these shit. Got these worked. bingos got it done. <laughs> Out here eating rats as a delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> do you want lunch? We got, we got to rewatch that again a yes. second time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. Re rewatch it. Got that bad of it all be able to fix it. <laughs> Zach, what is your first outside looking good? I I love a story of the unstoppable force against the immovable object. Right. Mm -hmm. I love I love those battles. Just here, two titans. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do to stop either of them. And now they have. They have turned their eyes against each other. And, and and it's such a weird hatred. It's almost like the, it's just the ultimate dick measuring contest, right? And there's nothing that can get in the way of this battle except for one fucking word. Martha. Oh. It's Martha. Batman versus Superman. Donna Justice. That, ultimate that, edition. <laughs> just the, him for some reason saying his mom's name <laughs> as he's about to die in a battle. Why did you say that name? Like, what the you know, fuck? You know what's funny is <laughs> it is simultaneously a Sean Aston digging a pool moment and also a CT5 save no two bro moment. <laughs> Wait, that's my, that's a good idea. Mother, that's a good my, idea. My mother's name is Martha. Sam, say no two. <laughs> All right. It's so stupid. So that's it's nice. it's saying it. It's the it's that you would even Bring it up. It's that, that you would bring it up, and it's not like, um, it's not like it's an uncommon name, right? If it was like, oh, Mary Julia, and and like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, my, well, my mom's name is Mary Julia. Wait, hold on, why'd you say that? Like, no, it's Martha. Martha's one of the most it's, common names on earth. It's lazy. It's very lazy, it's and laziest. also that, that 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 would be the safe word, right? Like, in <laughs> yeah. sex, if people you say Martha, oh shit. Well, the screenwriter definitely had a aha moment when they thought that they oh, were the first man. people on earth to figure that out. This and they wrote the whole movie around it. That is. And that's the other thing. The entire battle between these two is yeah. written around that one name. The same name as Martha Washington. Was they were fighting George Washington? Yeah. Like he's safe too now? He, he, like he, he shows up like, are we good? Yeah. <laughs> I chopped down that app, that cherry tree, whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> Or some that shit, used, I don't know. That used to be some shit that we used to learn in school, man. What a dumb fucking piece of trivia. Yeah. He chopped down a cherry tree and said, oh, hey, I, did uh, it. I cannot tell hey, a lie. There was a time where we uh, we committed genocide with all these native people here. But <laughs> let me tell you about this little motherfucker chopping down a tree. <laughs> this guy. And then, and, then, and then owning up to it. Accountability. Yeah. He really cares. He really cares <laughs> about this orchard. An honest orchard. president. An honest yeah. chopper. Chopper. Mm. He's pre you know what he is? Mm. He's president material. He is. <laughs> and then and then after like the Revolutionary War ends, Taffer takes a look at it and then walks away. <laughs> like America, okay. Oh, these taxes are too high. That's it, I'm going in. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> what's your, what's your right. cost My right now? My next OLI. 
The whole once again, you know, you could say the whole movie is a Sean Astin. I'm not mm. I'm not against that. There's the level of suspension of disbelief that is required to to get into a movie. So I'm already I'm already willing to forgive some stuff. Sure. We're getting the plot rolling. And then Bartleby's dad hands him a check for ten thousand dollars to pay his college tuition, no questions asked, and I'm out. I thought about it. I thought about it so hard. I was like, you know, maybe he's like, here it is. Here's four years of college. Here you right go. Here. What? Okay, sure. You invented a college by making a website. You bought a mental hospital. You're sure. cleaning it up. Okay, all of that. I'm in for some mm -hmm. reason. I'm I'm with you. But your dad being like, nope, here's 10 grand. This is how college works. Come and, on, man. And, and like your son has been so unmotivated right. to the point that like all he you didn't do. Apply. All he didn't you, apply for college. All you He didn't apply for college. And all you do is shit on your son for being a loser. That's all he does. <laughs> yes. Can I push and back? And then he shows you one website. And you're like, well, 10 grand. Looks good. Show Can me I push back in one yeah. way? Is mm -hmm. it possible that Justin Long has been such a bingo, like, and, like and to a point of exhaustion for his parents, that the moment there's a glimmer of him doing anything right, yes, I will write a $10,000 check, just fucking get out of my house. Just but to get it, rid of him? Po yeah. Possibly, but then wouldn't your, like, this kid has, he, he goes through all, like, the scams and grifts he's done as a child. Why would you trust anything this child says? Um, is he a scammer though? In the movie, yeah, he, like prior to the, yes! prior to that, yeah, the whole thing. Oh, yeah. remember, like he's doing the fake IDs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, in the opening yeah, remember, scene, remember yeah, when the opening. teacher was coming into FAP after eighth period or whatever? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that that's very believable. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good housekeeping magazine. All right, uh, my next outside looking in uh, is a movie. Now it's an old movie, so. You, one might say, okay, maybe sensibilities were different, but then you say, no, they weren't. They were actually even more intense, probably, than they are right now. The concept of um, police brutality in this country and how it impacts people of color, particularly black people, particularly black men. Mm -hmm. And so my outside looking in is the toy, the police coming up with an elaborate alibi for shooting an unarmed black man. When would that ever happen? Why would they ever think they need to? Why would they ever think they need to do that? That's a great pick. I did not think even come <laughs> close to thinking of that. That is such a great pick. <laughs> yeah, they would never put that much effort like, into it. Yeah, and absolutely no. I mean, think about this. The dude is basically a slave in but, 1981, right? So we've already established that, like, yo, we're going to let a lot of shit slide here. Mm-hmm. Getting shot, like, oh, wait a second, guys, hold on. <laughs> We've got to figure this thing out. we got to cross our T's and dot our I's. Yeah. That's a great pick. Fuck. Exactly. That's it's a great pick. It. All right. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, this this whole list is going to be fucking phenomenal. <laughs> um, you know me, I'm an ally of many different uh, creeds, races. Uh, wait. Play, play it. <laughs> play what? Look at this photograph. He said Creed. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's Nickelback. <laughs> oh, shit. Who's Creed? Can Let me you take, you take higher. me higher? Oh. We okay. should be clipping that into the show, though. Um, <laughs> just in general. Uh, so I'm, a, I'm an ally of, of anyone. You know, I, I, I don't like marginalized communities. I don't like people who feel they're under attack. You, I don't like You people don't like who, marginalized communities? God I don't like, damn. Zach. No, no, no. I don't, I don't like the concept don't like of all them. this stuff. I don't like I don't like the concept of like you just you know, want people, them to go away no. like the like the wife in uh in carpet copy just make them fucking no. go away. I, I don't I don't like I don't like that people feel like they don't have equal rights they don't have equal footing they don't have equal opportunities so you know me like I'm an ally I'm an ally of all allies but one of the most offensive things you can do is not understand what that actually is and that's what the movie Geely does in thinking that just hanging out with Ben Affleck would turn J-Lo from lesbian to straight. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's not how it works. Now, 
No, that's not no, how, that's, it's just not how it works. There's no point where she's like, yeah, I'm bi. I mean, she's like, nope, I like women. This is what I'm into. And then he says. Zach, Zach how, how, how sure are you that she was like completely, I mean, how lesbian was she? I mean, she was, if I could describe her in one way, mm -hmm. what's a respectful way? Dicosaurus Rex, I believe yeah. is the term. That's pretty lesbian, yeah. Yeah. If, if You don't get called Dicosaurus Rex by someone and then decide, you know what? I do like men. I was Unless thinking it's a form about... of nagging. What? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, got, yeah, got <laughs> oh. 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 What was that? Nagging. Nagging's internet. Be Nagging. careful. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> I know, because this is choppy internet, so that can, that can come off a lot of different ways. <laughs> it could be anything. <laughs> could he, it could even be a mystery uh -oh. lion. Uh -oh. I was trying to think of something similar about Geely, and it was, I was trying to come up with one that was related to Ben Affleck and J-Lo's relationship. Yeah. So I, I like that one for sure. It's it's so poorly written that it's <laughs> hey, oh my god oh yeah like, J Lo's definitely a lesbian she yeah. definitely moves in and then by the end yep you know after after listening like, to him read that Tabasco bottle she's at, all in after two days <laughs> after yeah. two days after, she's just like no after going to the Baywatch <laughs> I didn't even go I to the Baywatch yet no <laughs> like I that movie the, does, that movie does a lot right but that is part where it just does not excuse me. <laughs> He can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> he couldn't even say. When he I wrote could it down, I thought I gotta try to fit this line in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to pull it off. All right, we're into the top five. Yeah, my number five. It's, I guess it's not that crazy, but. It infuriated me so much at the time that it's really, I'm really hanging on to that frustration I had from watching Talisa Soto angrily going to an aquarium when she finds out her son has been kidnapped <laughs> by her Shit. husband's I didn't even think of that. In Ballistic X versus Sever. Oh my God. Who's that man? Who's that man indeed? Who's that man? Oh my God. Oh, I forgot about that. It's what you do when you're upset. You you go by yourself to an aquarium, stare into the tanks wistfully as wailing now, vocalization happens in the background. It's the best a, way to express your emotions. I don't know if it's a hot take or a bad take. You know, I don't know how these things are viewed anymore. I love an aquarium. They're very serene. I you like know? aquariums. I like the glow of a of like a tunnel under, you know, within the aquarium that you walk through and everything. I like that. Um, Although to be fair, the Monterey Aquarium, which is the one that I've been to by far the most, yeah. is a top five aquarium. Yeah, that, I mean, that's, aquarium. that's, that's up, up there with anything. Where I don't it? think I would feel the same if I was going to like, I don't know, an, an aquarium in Ohio or something sure. like that. Yeah, no, I mean, is, the Monterey Bay Aquarium is like world renowned, is like one of the yeah. best. Where, where is it? Where is it? Mon it's in Monterey, Monterey California, so it's right like on South the coast. Area. Yeah. Okay. It's It's got some exhibits where the ocean water actually comes in to the oh. aquarium from the outside. It's, yeah, where no, you can it's, like, it's really spectacular. You can see sea otters there, stuff it's, like it's, that. It's one of my favorite places to go when, when I'm in Northern California. I'll, uh, but at the same time, if my child had been kidnapped, I don't think I'd say, yeah. here's $17. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go check out some clownfish. <laughs> <laughs> my number five. <laughs> uh, and uh, I struggled. Should this be two separate? Sean Aston digging the pools, Ooh. or should it just be one? Because it's from the same movie, but it's two completely different concepts. No, combine them. Because uh, because uh, Maze just combined two things with. Okay, all right. Hayden Christensen. Okay, well, he, so Hayden Christensen combined those things. I didn't do that. That wasn't me doing that. <laughs> those weren't your choices. You're right. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, uh, cinephobe obviously is no stranger to the world of college. Athletics, big time college athletics. We've done a, a bunch of movies mm -hmm. uh, 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 surrounding amateurism and like the popularity throughout. Uh, and yet, there's no universe that I can imagine that your college boxing team is so successful that alumni are pouring in money <laughs> to support this program and support the university as a whole because our <laughs> boxing team is really good. It's Teen Wolf 2. Hit the music. <laughs>
<laughs> Never even thought also, of it. Also, from that same movie, this broad being in the advanced I, yeah, science I, class yeah, and not knowing how to turn on really a, mi- a microscope. Play, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. Get her, this- ass, her, get her remedial ass up out of here. Is, is this dumb? I don't think colleges have boxing teams. Maybe they, a boxing no, club. Dude, I allowed, I allowed for the concept that maybe, just maybe, there's a like, you know, there's some guy like yeah. Pernell Whitaker went to like Ohio State. <laughs> Pernell right? Whitaker. <laughs> we went to Ohio State was, and they had a boxing what's team. Was his nickname Sweet Pea, or is that somebody else? Yeah, said Sweet Pea. Yeah. yeah, Sweet Pea Whitaker. Yeah, what a great name. Yeah, man, CT five names. But yeah, no, the, like the concepts of college having boxing yeah. team, and then the concept of the boxing team being so pivotal Mm -hmm. to alumni donation that like we can't fuck this up um so you're questioning the entirety of dean pimps academia yes and and also the athletic program you you think that this is all a front that none of the this is actually what happened this is bartleby grown up is what this is yes 100 percent. yeah it wasn't really actually goes to south Harmon, but much further down the line. I, like, because if you remember, this all stems from the uh, coach slash athletic director selling the dean on, hey, we need to give this kid, Scott Howard's cousin, a scholarship. Right. So everyone's livelihood, everyone's kind of like existence hinges on one scholarship to the boxing team. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Horseshit is what it is. And it's not, we're not questioning that there's a werewolf gene here. In no, play. That, yeah. I, no, no, no. That part is not Sean asking the good Bought in. The world's been accepted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great pick. Um, all right, my number five. Uh, you know me. I have I have battled racism the the most i can the most of anybody on this show i i've i've attacked it i've tried to solve it i've tried to fix it so many times and it, and unfortunately it's just it, it hasn't worked yet but i i will stay ever vil- vigilant in in how i try to attack this villainy in our in our world zach but, zach it seems like maybe racism is a hydra where every time you attempt to cut off a head two heads grow back yeah it it does feel that way doesn't it it, it i i think it's a great great example um mm. but with all that said and we live in a world with bad takes i can't imagine anyone has ever been so racist that they looked at the showtime lakers and said kurt rambis is the reason that they win <laughs> heart condition i could not disagree more really i could not disagree more two mbas and not only that zach i can explain it to you in a perfect way that literally nobody who listens to cinephobe mm-hmm. is gonna get imagine kevin and pa now imagine he was white Maze, we had this guy who literally called every show every day. Every show, every day. Would that's remain not, on that's hold. not an exaggeration. All four shows would, every day. And every remain show. on hold until they put them on, right? Yeah. And it could be, like, what's the, big, the biggest story right now is Jalen Brunson taking less money mm-hmm. in order for the Knicks, right? So we could be talking like this thing, da da da. Everyone's people call in talking about this dude will call in and be like, yeah, why did Ricky Rubio? Everyone makes a big deal about Ricky Rubio. He's not even like that guy's not even like a top three hundred player in the world. Like he just I, I'm, go not gonna, off I'm not going to do the voice, but it'd be like it would be that, and then like, and I don't think Jeremy Lin was ever that good. It's like what? <laughs> what you- like, it's a like complete off topic, and it's all centered around like a white or a, a non-black guard not being that good. That was is it, the entirety of his existence. Yeah, every that's, show. That's true, that's but still, but still, I mean, now imagine if he was white. Yeah, like it's, the white it's, version it's of a, Kevin. It's a great, it's a great rebuttal. But Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, James Worthy, Michael Thompson, Michael Cooper, Byron Scott. Nope. No, the Jack white Wolf. guy with the glasses. <laughs> but Zach, you've never. 
You've never had an affinity for a player on a team that's not a star. I I I grew up liking the Timberwolves. Of course I have. Of course I have. Sam, Sam uh, Sam okay, Nichols, a successful right? team. Sorry, but, correct. But a, oh, successful team. S- oh, uh, shit. No, like I was never like. I no, was that like, kind of. You know what? Zach, you, you didn't have the a Sam Mitchell winning. poster. The Braves are winning, but fuck, man, this Raphael Belliard. He's hit one home run in his career, and I'm I'm here for it. This is no, like, it's, it's not out. that crazy to me. You know, it's, it's like guy. the 49ers. It's okay. how the crowd he, loves Kyle Juice Check. Sure, but he has, but but this guy also to to put the cherry on top in an apartment where he lived with 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 a hooker. He yes. had a Kurt Rambis poster in his kitchen. Well, yeah, yeah. in the kitchen. That's in the his kitchen. kitchen. That's in the his kitchen, dude. This guy. That's kind of fucked up. Yeah, all right. Now you got me. You yeah. won me back. Because <laughs> of the poster? Because the poster was in the kitchen. Because okay. the only thing like he cooked, was- the only thing he cooked was here's some Jack Daniels for my cat. Well, he yeah, he didn't cook. <laughs> he poured the Jack in the fucking bowl. <laughs> yeah, it's it wasn't a kitchen as much as it was a a slop factory. <laughs> That's where he just moved slop around from one bowl Is to that- the other. Yeah, but Isn't enough about his Air girlfriend. Heads? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Zach! Vegas Zach's a little frisky. Oh, Vegas Zach okay. is, is very frisky. God, I need. I mean, I get factory. it. I hear you. I I think it's a little more believable given the character. And I'm everything. not saying I'm not saying he couldn't be like a fan of Kurt Rambis and that's his favorite player. Yeah, but he's outright arguing that he's the reason they win. The Lakers were not the Lakers without yeah. Rambis. Right. That's his line. Yeah. He's- Without the Rambis, they're just a bunch of bums. Do they even have around. Kurt Rambis posters? No, that's that's the thing I wondered at the time. <laughs> that's custom made. Like, I, like that's again, Zach. I feel like as you flesh out your Sean Aston digging a pool here, there are things that are coming to the surface. Like, for instance, yeah. one that there's a Kurt Rambis poster, regardless of his feelings on Kurt Rambis, that they have a poster that he was able to purchase, and then B that. He's like in my bedroom. No, how about in the living room, right above like the man's place? No, no, the kitchen. That's, kitchen that's next to the fridge. Fridge. Yeah. Yep. All right, my number four. When I started, I thought this would be number one. Mm-hmm. I definitely thought this was a top tier Sean Astin moment. I thought I didn't believe this for a second. So clearly, <laughs> this is what is qualified to be on this list. It's Queen Latifah revealing that she was riding the bike in the opening scene to Taxi. <laughs> Shit. How did I not think no. of that? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. This like log ass like scene. It. It's a person it doing tricks, riding this just, bike around. The, the, power the, slides cyclist, into the garage. The had the body of DJ Qualls? What are you talking she about? Does, she does her own stunts, stunts guys. I, I refuse. I bought it. You can you can live in denial all you want. You can suspend your disbelief, I mean, but when she took that helmet off and it's Queen Latifah, come on, man. It might Wild. be a might be a CD five film noir as well, but I'm gonna go with the Sean Aston for this one. Bile, golden dumpster, ass off, all of it. Fraud. That's a great pick. All right. <laughs> I've been laughing for like the last three picks because every time I look at my list, I see my number four. I should be number one by how much it's making me laugh, but it is where it is. All right, here we go. I'd like you all to do an experiment on a plant, something that may benefit mankind. If you devise something groundbreaking, I guarantee you an A in this course. I wrote it down. I did, didn't make my list, but fuck, man, that is... <laughs> that's peak that's peak Harvard, man. That's peak Harvard. Three units. Here's three no, credits. Benefit mankind. Benef- benefit mankind. Oh my god. Not oh, here's shit, your man. degree in botany. <laughs> oh, it's an intro level course. You get it's a not- pass for botany 101. <laughs> yeah. This is the I, first I guarantee class. you. I guarantee you an A. <laughs> like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> I give it to an A. You come in the rest of the semester, jack it off into everyone's projects and lab stations, yeah. and you get an A. It's it. Yeah. This was the first class, by the way. Botany this was the midway. Mm-hmm. Th- this wasn't like midterms. Mm-mm. 
They won. Good. They walk Damn in. Good pick. They, that's a great, yeah, uh, yeah, written down but not there. For, yeah, oh my god, that the should, history professor, the history professor is the complete opposite end of the spectrum. You yeah. believe everything about that? Yes, I well, do. I mean, yeah. well, goddamn <laughs> Uncle Tom's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right number four. I've actually listened to this episode this morning. I was walking around. I was going to get my coffee. I'm listening to the episode. And I'm just cackling the whole time. And I remember the end of, I just want you guys to put yourself in position. You're a concerned father. You've saved your family time and time again. Someone close to you, um, you know, not by choice, but just by, by, by just this, what happens to be the circumstances um, has turned on you, has turned on your family has kidnapped your daughter who you've saved time and time again. And you say, I've got to save her. I'm going to drive this car into a plane to save Come her. On. Taken three, Liam Neeson. <laughs> it is fucking insane logic that I will never get over. The Porsche. A Porsche. And he's, I'm going to take out the front wheel of this plane that she's on. And it works. Yeah. Okay. You're obviously not so, a father's So that's tough to me. <laughs> Wait, I mean, you say because I don't have kids that I, that I don't understand. <laughs> that's oh, tough to me because <laughs> if, if Liam Neeson was the character digging a pool, I believe it. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. It Liam Neeson being the person doing it takes take some add some believability to the mix do you think he'd have the but out the, of context 100 percent. do you think he'd have the stuffed panda watching him dig the pool just set off to the yes. side in like a lounge chair yes 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 <laughs> he'd be talking to it he'd be making jokes to it and he's got to like <laughs> gotta poke his head out to the side behind him. <laughs> Please, what's your number three? What does the guy say when he sees him driving out of the tarmac? Oh no. God, no! Does he say no? Yeah, you're like no. <laughs> the guy who I keep forgetting until every time I re-listen this episode because I've re-listened like five times, where Maze informs us that he was going to be Wolverine. Yeah, Dugger Scott. Yeah, but my two, my two ran long on filming, so Hugh Jackman got the shot instead. It's a bummer, man. You Just know. insane. He could still be Wolverine this summer. That's <laughs> he played his cards right. Yeah. C C my number five. three. Oh, my bad. I was going to say no. CT5 uh, um, recasting decisions, right? Yeah, the other one is for sure Stuart Townsend from League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. He could have been. Oh, Aragorn. that's right. Yeah. That's yeah. my other favorite in Lord of the Rings. Number three, Sean Astin. It's a dramatic, dramatic road for this character. She's been through a lot. Not and not of dick, like the breakup. <laughs> She's been through a lot. <laughs> She's the problem. And you could kind of understand she was on vacation. How she <laughs> gets to this point. But then there's the impassioned <laughs> plea from her husband, from her child's father. And she says, nah, fuck it. I'm going to stay in this cabin with your little person brother. It's Kate oh, Beckinsale oh, yeah. at the oh, end oh, of Tiptoes. Oh, oh. <laughs> One of the on most WTF floor. endings. I didn't even think of it. In Cinephobe no, history. I, oh, I thought about it. <laughs> I really you haven't stopped about thinking about it. <laughs> she goes there as a retreat. She says, it's not safe in the city. I got to take this baby up to this cabin and hang out for a bit. Matthew McConaughey shows up. He's sorry. He wants to apologize for being a huge tool and take her back. And she says, nah, I'm good. I'm going to stay with Rolf. I'm going to stay with Gary Oldman. We're going to make out tiptoes. I just, I just remembered every scene where he's sitting on the couch. <laughs> the, lip, the fake lip. He's in the, he's in the crease of the cushion. <laughs> his, little, his little fake lips. 
flopping we down. Got, we got to rewatch we, that, man. Is that, is that, yeah, got to. Is that allowed? Can we do that? We've is that got allowed? To. We've got to. <laughs> That'll be the because that that starts going viral again every like every few months where, like of people like did you know this exists and then we get tagged a yeah. million times and every, like we have to and we have to advertise the fuck out of that one yeah maybe we do a free rewatchington maybe all right <clears throat> that's a great pick my number three combines the suspension of disbelief of the scenario with the. Like, what's the motivation here? Why? Right? What? Why is this a thing? Why mm. is this presented as a challenge? Right? It's, first of all, it's overkill. Second of all, there's no part of it that makes sense. <clears throat> you're trying to hack into a mainframe that is very highly encrypted, and you're told to do it in a very short amount of time. And to make things even more ratcheted up, there's a gun near your head. And then... This girl is going to suck you off while that happens. Rob Why? <laughs> Why would Hugh Jackman decide he shouldn't nut in this broad's mouth while hacking in Swordfish? So come, dude. Like, it's like, what? It's, come. Why is he holding the nut? <laughs> yeah, do it early so that you can finish hacking. Yeah. Do Absolutely. It hacking. I mean, uh, didn't, it didn't make my list, but I, did, I wrote down something. So I said... That Hugh Jackman wouldn't love Gabriel's world. Are you kidding me? All the resources to hack, yeah. All the women to to be at his disposal. All this stuff, like he get he like Getting he could easily off he while could, doing he, the hacking. Yeah, like I, it just doesn't make any sense. So I just want to be clear. Your Sean Aston is that he refused to come. Yes, yes. That while, he was worried about while that he's like being about sucked it. Yes. off. Yeah, yeah. While hacking. Yeah, with a gun in his head. Yeah. Maybe he has stage fright. No. 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 No, 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 no. You've gone too far. All right. Um, all right. Number three for me. I don't understand the schedule. I don't understand how this person was, was thought of so highly based on performance. I, I won't even get to the fact that he can't please a woman. He pitched every other day. He got rocked every other goddamn time. And yet he gets to go to the majors. From Matt the, LeBron, from, uh, Ed. single A. <laughs> Didn't he, he give up like rocked. nine runs in the last game? He gets rocked every time he pitches. Deuce Cooper. <laughs> he has one pitch. No off speed. No curveball. He just throws hard. And Deuce Cooper getting that, rocked. I believe that part. I believed, but he couldn't yeah. make the waitress come. Yeah, that that was the most believable part. Yes, it's funny. Like in my notes, when I the first thing I did was a control left Sean Aston yeah. throughout yeah. my notes, and it came up a lot. Obviously, one of them was uh, calling her the the broad girlfriend. Like that whole like, what what was he supposed to do? Like, oh, you just. Like, what am I? It's a chip, man. I didn't have oh, nothing yeah. to do it. I was like, that's a Sean Aston. And then, but like, in retrospect, I'm like, not even close. I, was, I, feel, I feel I was so young and naive when I called that a Sean Aston. My number two, <clears throat> recency bias. I don't care. It's fresh in the mind. It's incredibly unbelievable. It's a mean not knowing that Ben Parker was Spider-Man's oh Uncle Ben God. and Madam Werb. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's, come on, man. No, it, what no, a great, not, what a great pick. I, I still can't believe it. How is that not your number one? Because you can't wait for my number okay. one. That's why. <laughs> out, my number one, number one. My number one has incredibly descriptive detail. Oh, my number okay. one is is thrilling. This is this is this is simple. It's yeah. straight to the point. Yeah. It's Madam Werb. Yeah. It's Ben Parker. I mean, missed How all much were, of the heavy-handed they, allusions to it. Heavy-handed. How much were you checking off? They never said the full name. How much were you checking off? They like, said the you full name. They, they made stupid little spider guy jokes. He's leaping around in there. They made so many jokes. You thought that he was banging Emma Roberts, 
who's yeah. his sister-in-law. You then misunderstood said, everything. Then when I then said I thought, that, no, that's Uncle Ben, he said, wait, he's banging his sister? Like, didn't even, yeah. like, that was, that was the next, <laughs> that was the next jump in logic. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, Madam yeah, Warp. Man. Yeah. Very believable. I don't know. <laughs> For you, <clears throat> you did it. <laughs> M- Maze, like yours, my number two is also straight to the point, not a whole lot of buildup. It, it speaks for itself. It's a salad being on the dinner table for the Blart family and Paul Blart Ball Cup, too. I can only assume the, the croutons are just cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Oreos? Just yes. for a crack of them Oreos? Just crumble. <laughs> And the dressing this is gravy. our and this is our <laughs> Oreo salad, and it's actually a cookies and cream dressing, <laughs> blended up with milk. I, like I would have, if I was on set, I'm like, come on, guys. We, <laughs> look, I know it's a recent one. We might need to rewatch that. Just roast this fucking guy <laughs> on mute. Yeah, it's actually, actually, yes. If we do a rewatch, it's got to be on mute. I'm telling you, it's a different experience. Do you think the salad was one of those? bowls of fruit where it's actually wax apples <laughs> it's it's like filler it's, salad it's it's wax <laughs> apples filled with mel- like melted cheese like that's what it is uh, nutella is what i had <laughs> he had both <sighs> all right zach so number she- two um all right i'm glad you guys have done combinations i'm glad that uh you know maze maze was the first one to throw a shot at the one of us because i have a combination here mm. it's straight to the point it's obviously we've done this a lot. It's Maze saying he likes Jupiter Ascending, Ascending. combined with a mean liking Larry the Cable Guy. I don't, I don't believe Get it. To, come on, I, no, I no, 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 no. I don't believe it. I don't believe either of them. I might leave. I might believe Maze liking Jupiter Ascending more than I believe you liking what? Larry the Cable Guy. Yes, Dude, but I don't I believe either of them. Fun. I thought Delta Farce was funny, man. Like, no, I don't understand. You didn't. No, you didn't. I laughed. No. I laughed the entire li- episode. Go like, back and listen to it. No, you didn't like Jingle All the Way too, with all that arm meat hanging I, out. Like, no, there's just no. Absolutely not. He tried, he tried to truck Snow in. Oh. He did. God. He tried, well, actually, he trucked Snow out, but yes. God. No, I don't believe I, that you. I, I, I think it's great because. We know that Delta Farce is behind the paywall, Zach. Yeah. So we know Amin's never listened to it again. <laughs> that's true, right? Yeah, that's. So I, his I idea of what he said on that episode is he's just heavily distorted. He's just waiting for you to eventually release it when we eventually have a, I will. We have a scheduling eventually crunch. I will. <laughs> or or we could do a rewashington. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. We could. I'm good. But I think it's what? No, very. Hold on. It, like, I'll tell you, you what. Might... It, it's 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 behind. It's behind uh, movie forty three. That rewatch, I'll tell you that. Ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah, movie forty three. Really, Ooh, really, CT yeah, movie five good. movies that will never have a rewatching. <laughs> oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> They're all maze picks. They're all maze picks. By the way, no, uh, I can't believe that you guys Marks. are both putting Gala Walkers on their no, first no, show. But, <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you think there's a chance, a higher chance? That Maze liked Jupiter Ascending? Yes. Then me liking Larry the Cable Guy? Yes, absolutely. I've seen Larry the Cable Guy movies multiple times. He's never watched Jupiter Ascending again. That's not, you guys keep saying that. I saw it in theaters and then I watched it for this podcast. Yeah, so, but, suck that's it. my point. No, that's my point. No, yeah, but since the podcast, which which was what, episode five? How many <laughs> of these have I watched again? There's not many besides the Dog. Rewashingtons. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, not, not a movie that you like. You claim you like it. Yeah. Like, it, you enough to fight. You fought us on this. Yeah. It's also you 220 like years ago of Cinephobe. <laughs> yes. You guys are still right. stuck on this. Yes, yeah. because it's so <laughs> That's unbelievable. How it That's how bad it is. Well, it's not as bad as my number one. I'm going to paint a little picture for you, okay? It's yep. opening day. You take your kid to Candlestick Park. <laughs> Bobby Rayburn, your favorite player, he's coming up to bat. You're watching the clock. You got a meeting in North Beach at the same time as the game. You get up to go after berating everyone in the crowd around you. By the time 
Bobby Rayburn, Bobby Rayburn hits a grand slam. By the time Bobby Rayburn is at third base, you are in North Beach. You've sprinted out of the stadium. You've driven 40 minutes across town. You're in North Beach. You go to your appointment. Guess what? Dude's not there. He's at the game. Cut back to you in your van. You're on the Bay Bridge for some reason. Cut back to the game. It's still happening. Your kid is gone. You left your child this whole time. You Please. leave your child at a baseball game. You cover San Francisco geography at the most insane teleportation levels. It took 10 Like, he checks his watch. Bobby Rayburn is batting. Bobby Rayburn is batting for 10 minutes. Oh, he's, found, he's fighting. He's fouling off pitches. It was like five pitches. I know it's pre pitch clock, but yeah, Jesus pre-pitch Christ. Pre pitch clock, man. It was a different it, time. Another, another foul tip from Rayburn. That's his yeah. 45th swing. <laughs> yeah, it's the fan. It's Bobby De Niro on the fan. Maze, Maze, you could have stopped that. He got from his seat to his car in less than 40 minutes. I could have stopped, but the movie could, didn't like, stop. It kept like going. That alone is a Sean Aston thing. Candlestick was a motherfucker to get out of and get to your car. It's oh my God. Absolute insanity. I watched it again. I, I, we talked about it recently. I forget. Cause there was some other movie where somebody left their kid for a minute, but man, the fan that's, the San Francisco element makes it personal. It's offensive. It's offensive on every level. Yeah. I don't That's believe a great, it. Great, great pick. All right. He does. He my leaves n- his kid. My number one uh, is at, almost as old as Cinephobe. It is, if I'm not mistaken, oh. it might <laughs> I be know where you're going this. the earliest clipped Cinephobe thing used. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was offended. You were offended. That did it. I was offended. I was offended that Nicolas Cage had to Google what happened on 9-11-2001. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> that to, forever. That will, for, like, Sean Astin digging a pool is not as much of a Sean Astin digging the a Nick pool. Cage Googling as, 9-11 award? Googling, you know, like, oh, 9-11-2001. What happened on that date? Like, I, I was waiting for it to be like, okay, the Blueprint came out. All right, that was a pretty good album. Uh, Zoolander, <laughs> it's theaters. Yep. Oh, they were uh, they were shooting Master Disguise. There's that. Yeah. I saw a girl uh, on a dating app where she, she, her fun fact was that they shot that scene on 9-11. That was like in her profile, <laughs> in her dating profile. Yeah, Jesus real trivia Christ. head. I don't know. He might not have known. He was deep in science. Dog. There's a lot of numbers on that page, right? I mean, a lot of numbers, man. Yeah. Like some of them were like, oh, what happened? And, oh, shit. That's the day the Titanic sank. Oh, da, da, da. oh, bro. Pearl Harbor was like, 9-11 cannot be one that needs to get. Because it was cool. it was less than a decade later, right? When was when was that movie? Oh, nine. The movie came out like 2004. Just like three years <laughs> later. What are you talking about? That's a decade. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Knowing 2009, eight okay, years after yeah. 9-11. Yeah. Eight years. We didn't even get to the 10-year anniversary yet. Nope. Yeah, that's a good one. Unbelievable. Unremarkable. Right. My number one. I don't need a preamble. I don't need a I don't need a, a big a big build up. I don't need any of that stuff. You there is not a chance in hell, the more I think about this, there is not a chance in hell you can convince me that Pretzi is a housed gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. come on, Zach. No. Okay. Okay. No. Time there's out. Not a, Time there, is, there is not a chance that this <laughs> little motherfucker walks around with a basket of baguettes and goddamn croissants in New York City. I don't care what fucking year it is. It could be 1877 and has enough money selling that shit to have a home, to be able to pay rent. Not yeah, radio, out, that's little, all. That's no way to talk to a dame. He is not yeah. housed. He's got a little radio too. He's not. Yeah, he can't afford a. Where did he get the radio? He stole it. That's where he got it. Like he's a squatter, maybe, but he is not a housed gentleman. Not a chance. So 
I'll never believe I it. had Pretz- a very, very similar thought, which was there's no way that he's supporting himself <laughs> selling pretzels. Of course not. So I'm, guys, I'm right there with you. But guys, we don't have proof that he has a home. We yeah, never we see it. No, we yes, don't. We do. When? He's in yeah, it. At the end, when he's when he's listening on the radio. Yeah. To like, oh, to yeah. like uh, he's talking to Herc through a radio. <laughs> no, he's not talking. He's listening. Herc is talking to him. With with a very very clear English voice, by the way, like Maze. I know you don't like. like I, I know the whole point of this is not to do any work, but please clip every line from Pretzel in that movie. <laughs> That's not the way you talk to a broad. You understand? You understand? You understand? It flew straight up. Yeah, there, I, I'll, I'll, ne- I'll, I'll never believe that he's housed. Never. Not once. Doug, I look. I don't think you guys are given enough. Due diligence. I did the research. Pretzels in the seventies. <clears throat> Boom! I did, the, I did the research. He was Boom selling them out of a basket down by the waterfront. That's low overhead. It was the, the perfect me he's business in Central Park, or he's in Times Square selling pretzels. Now you've got my attention. No. He he's not even. There's no one there. He's Every, at the it's, dock. It's well documented that dock workers are the like number a lady of one the demographic. Well, of doc, ladies of the night, you meant it exactly. You know what you need when you're with a lady of the night? Carbs. You need, to, you need <laughs> sodium. You need to replace those electrolytes. That's where the pretzel comes in. It elevates the. Uh, also, <laughs> just fifty-two dry, dock workers, just dry pretzels. No mustard. No, no cheese. No, no dipping of any no. kind. Just the hardest, That's- coarsest pretzels in our pretzel inventory well, his zach, name's not zach, cheesy it's pretzy <laughs> zach uh th- what you got to remember also is that the pretzels in the 70s the dough that they used was naturally moist you didn't need all these dip this is all like kind of when we switched to uh high f- uh, fructose or oh, high fructose corn syrup and yeah. all this you know additives and stuff and, they needed to the add-ons and we, and we then, brought, we've brought in that dough Thanks to our friends at Orange Dough Entertainment. <laughs> That's also, a deep cut for you, Bar Rescue, also, right there. That's also, I got you guys free training, Pretzy <laughs> virtual training. <laughs> I mean, same card too, bro. Oh, <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I I think I think one because. It's been an hour. Two, because we've said we could do a oh, second list. Save yep. the OLA. We save maybe them. save yeah, the OLA. Because the one yep. I was going to read last would be my number one next time. So that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's save those. All right. But I will do yeah. the recap. So Can, uh, I, I look. I'm just gonna. This one is gonna be on my list next time. But I'm just gonna to give people like a little trailer, a taste. Just one. Safe repairman as a career, and this dumb broad <laughs> bought it. <laughs> he bought a house with his safe repairman. Safe repair income. These safes but, are falling apart. It's his butter is cleaning the fuck up. <laughs> he oh, charges the God. contents of the safe for every safe repair. That's the only oh, way he could justify shit. that. All oh, right. Well, shit. that was that was delicious. But my list hayden hayden christensen being a civil engineering <laughs> specialist and helicopter pilot and bartleby's dad handing him a check for 10 grand talisa soto angrily going to an aquarium queen latifah riding the bike in the opening scene of taxi kate beckinsale staying with rolf and tiptoes a me not knowing that ben parker was spider-man's uncle ben in mountain Werb, and bobby de niro leaving his kid a candlestick driving to north beach driving back during the game it's all it all happened in 10 minutes a means list. Barry Pepper and his band of bingos learning how to fly planes a week after learning how to read. Police coming up. <laughs> police coming up for an elaborate alibi for shooting an unarmed black man. A college boxing team being so successful that the alumni supported it. And this broad Nikki in the in advanced science department didn't know how to turn on a microscope. Botany <laughs> professor offering an A in this course for something groundbreaking that will benefit mankind. <laughs> 
Hugh Hackman refusing to come in this broad's mouth while she's sucking him off while he's hacking into a mainframe with a gun at his head. Yeah. And a salad being on the dinner table for the Blart family, but none of it can top Nicolas Cage Googling 9-11-2001. Oh, fuck. Zach's list, saying your mom's name when you're about to die in battle, Martha in Batman vs. Superman. J-Lo converted back to being straight simply by hanging out with Ben Affleck and Gigli. Two days. Looking at the Lakers Dude. and saying that Kurt Rambis is the reason they won in heart condition. <laughs> Driving a car right into a plane to save your daughter and taking three. Deuce Cooper getting rocked every time he pitches and somehow Dude. making it to the minors. Majors. May saying he likes Jupiter Ascending combined with Amin saying he likes Larry the Cable Guy and convincing Zach that Pretzi is a housed gentleman in Hercules and New York. I promise you guys three lists that were completely different from one another and we yeah. delivered, man. Delivered. Delivered. Not and even close. Part two is, uh, is I'm already looking at what got left off. Part two is a big time delivery. Big <laughs> time already. I'm it's calling the shot right now. Man. It, it could also be called Spo the Lewis Pinnock. Spoiler alert. It's unbelievable, man. Spoiler Award. alert. He'll return. Oh. <laughs> Next time we make love, you introduce me to Jade.